If Quizlet ain't got it, you might want to pray about it. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexia and today I'm doing an online classes tips and tricks part two. So I did this video way back in, I believe, April or March when we all got sent home from college universities for COVID and I did a video for tips and tricks for taking online classes since this was the first time a lot of people were taking online classes and a lot of you found it helpful so I figured it would be helpful to do a part two with my favorite apps and websites to use that are helpful for online classes and things that I use religiously during the school year. So if you want to see my tips and tricks for online college classes or classes in general then just keep on watching. So again I have a list of things I'm going to talk about and I'm going to screen record me using the website or app and put it on the screen so you can get a better like view or idea of what it actually is and how to use it and stuff. So so I'm just going to go through these and talk about why I like them and all of that. So the first app that I'm going to talk about, um, I have downloaded on my MacBook. I'm sure you can download it on a non-MacBook, a Dell, a, what are they called? A PC? I don't know. But I have a MacBook, so this is going to be like macbook geared but i'm sure you can get all the same things if it's not a macbook um but the first app is called zotero so if you have ever i mean this can even work for regular classes to be honest it cites your stuff automatically so if you have written papers which i'm sure you have if you're in college citing your sources is the most annoying thing ever like it's so annoying but you have to do it and 90 percent of the time like the teacher will fail you on the paper if you don't cite anything um and a lot of teachers are really specific about the citations so zotero cites them for you but it's way better than using like easy babe or cite this for me because child i have been through every single automatic site sourcing website ever like i have been through it all because i hate doing it so tarot is an app and you just download it to your laptop and it makes it so easier and it's so much better and it makes less mistakes than the websites like EasyBib and cite this for me um so i just had to include this because it has saved my life and a lot of people don't like use it so i just figured i would you know help you out so the second thing is for online note taking so the first one is microsoft OneNote, and the second one is goodnote so i personally preferred microsoft OneNote, but i use goodnote for a while because goodnote is just really cute like it can make everything really aesthetically pleasing and that's what kind of distracted me if that makes sense like i was focused more on making my notes look pretty rather than actually taking in the information that i was writing down and i would change how they looked all the time i was trying to do little themes in the notes it was too much for me so then i switched to microsoft OneNote, which microsoft OneNote i really like the fact that it was really user friendly um and you can make different folders you can make different like classes for your notes um it lets you highlight it lets you do all the things that you would in a regular notebook but it's just really uniform and what i do like about taking digital notes is that you can easily change and like edit something if you made a mistake or you want to add something um it's really easy to change them digitally as opposed to in a notebook like you would have to like add something to the side as opposed to just like entering a few times and adding the information to make it look uniform so those are my two favorite digital note taking apps it would be really useful like if you have a zoom class going and like you could do split screen where you have the zoom class on one side of your screen and the notes on the other you could just take notes while you're already on your laptop for zoom but whatever floats your boat the next thing is google calendar so i've been using google calendar for i don't know a really long time and this is just for life in general not even specific to online classes but google calendar is the best digital calendar ever i still use a physical planner but i just feel like like google calendar is just so good it's so user friendly it's so much better than what is it iCal that comes on the laptop like it's so much better you can customize it way better it's very smart i want to say like so let's say you're typing right and i have to work seven to one so i can type work at symbol seven to one and enter it and it'll automatically change it to say work but then like it'll have entered the seven to one time itself 
you know what I mean did that make any sense probably not but it's just so much better than iCal and your appointments and stuff like if you book with people online you can automatically add them into your Google Calendar I use like Afterpay and Quadpay and Klarna and all those things if you know what those are they're like installments so like if you buy a big order from pretty little thing it'll let you pay in four installments instead of all at one time um and they will automatically go into your google calendar and remind you when you have to pay it's just it's overall just a great digital calendar my next thing kind of goes along with planning and it is asana i also have this on my computer and my phone i use this for youtube planning specifically but you can use it for whatever you want it's just good for planning if your brain works in board form if that makes sense so asana basically lets you pick your format so you can have the same list and view it in a list form in a board in like a mind map thing if you know what those are like when we made them as little kids or whatever it literally lets you see your thoughts and ideas in so many different forms and i like it for planning youtube specifically because i just like being able to see it all laid out month by month and i can't do that in list form i used to do it in list form but it kind of got confusing trying to really visually see it all out because i'm a very visual person um so if you are a visual person as well if you like want to plan a project or you're writing a paper and you want to like view okay i'm going to put this information in the introduction this information in the body this information in the conclusion and view it in a board form if that makes sense asana is really great and like i said it's on your computer and your phone so I can put information in on my computer and then oh I'm out and about and I want to check something or I have an idea and I can write it down quick on my phone too if that makes sense. You can also have people collaborate on Asana but that's like the premium pro plus gotta pay money version and I don't have that but if you wanted to like you could work on a group project like you can on Google Docs but like on Asana in like the visual form if that makes sense then everybody's favorite quizlet i had to include quizlet because quizlet is the bomb if you're taking a class that you need to memorize a lot of things quizlet is the way to go i love the quizlet app like i don't even really use quizlet like that on my laptop but quizlet on your phone is the best thing ever if you're riding the bus if you are i don't know let's say you're real dedicated and you get your nails done you get your hair, hair done you need to quick memorize some stuff you need to quiz yourself the games just really work for my brain like the way the quizlet app is set up works so well for me and the different options they have for you to study just work amazingly for me so if you i mean i'm sure everybody has heard of quizlet but if you haven't um quizlet is great and also you can look up other people's sets that's really useful you can find a lot of quiz answers on quizlet but um quizlet gets people through a lot of classes so i mean the quizlet ain't got it you might want to pray about it because Quizlet has everything. So if you, you know, you taking a test online, I'm not telling you to cheat. But if you taking a test online, you taking a quiz online, you can't find it in your notes. You can't remember it. You can just do a little Quizlet search and nine times out of ten, the exact question is on Quizlet with the right answer. online classes baby the seventh app that i have is for your phone and it is duolingo so i recently started using this my roommate used it all the time just for fun um but i'm using it because i'm gonna take spanish too and lord knows i struggled my way through spanish one i don't know why because i took spanish in high school and i was good at it and my roommate speaks spanish so you would think that it would be like in my brain by now but it's not and i know all that information from spanish one last semester flew out my brain so i've been using duolingo to try to like refresh my brain and keep myself in a loop i didn't even explain what duolingo is basically it's an app where you can pick what language you want to learn i don't know how many languages they have but they have all the ones you can learn in college learning a language is a requirement for most people's majors or at least a lot of people's majors so it's just really good on the go to like keep your brain refreshed or especially for like if you're taking the class online obviously you're not going to get that face-to-face -face practice or interaction with your professor i mean obviously you have zoom and obviously you can ask them questions and whatnot but duolingo is just good for me personally because like i said with the quizlet thing i like games and stuff it just works better for my brain that way so duolingo works well for refreshing my brain for what i'm learning um like i said with quizlet if you're real dedicated you get your nails done you get your hair done you can you know refresh yourself on that language you're learning um and then last 
honestly, this is a boring one, but Blackboard or Canvas, isn't that what it's called, the other one? Whatever platform your university uses, make sure you please have the app. Like if you don't have the app, I know so many people who don't have the app and like the app is so useful. You can see your grades like this. Um, it'll send you notifications for when your professors update you, which I feel like is really important, especially since classes are online, because let's say, oh, you have a test coming up on Wednesday, but the professor changes it to Friday because I don't know, they lost track of time and didn't get the test done right. They're going to make an announcement on Blackboard or on whatever you're using and you might be ready for Wednesday and then nothing's coming on Wednesday. So if you had the app, you would have got notified to your phone that the professor made an announcement. You could go check on it, you know, cause like, I don't honestly, like it's kind of bad, but like, I don't check Blackboard on my laptop as much as I should. And you really need to check Blackboard. Like, especially if you're a freshman and you haven't like been in college yet, you need to check Blackboard so often. Like I, ch I didn't check Blackboard like at all. When I was in high school, I literally was only on Blackboard to submit my assignments and look at my grades. But a lot of professors in college use Blackboard as their source of communicating with students. I know a lot of professors email and of course you should have the email app on your phone too. But some of my professors never emailed us and they put all of their reminders and new information on blackboard so if you have it in app form it's just gonna be so much easier for you to check it consistently because you really do need to check consistently those are all of my apps and websites that i use for online classes or just classes in general or things that help my productivity during the school year if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below i post every sunday and wednesday and for the month of august i'm posting sunday wednesday friday so turn on your post notifications so you are notified when i post those extra little videos if you do have any questions for me about online classes since you know i'm basically an online class veteran at this point um if you have any questions that i didn't answer in this video or my first video then you can definitely leave them in the comments or contact me on social media and i will give you my best advice speaking of social media my social medias are down below i post on my story every day over there so you will definitely see more of me on my instagram um but yeah other than that that is the end of this video and hope you have a great day bye Planet. Planet.